on the establishment of the asparagus, uh, what we did here, this was a, this was a, a overgrazed pasture. The grass was maybe you know an inch or so tall with very um, shallow roots. We just pulled a one bottom plow and made a furrow. Uh, we had previously done a soil test. We used a Midwestern BioAg uh, for a soil test and we amended right in the trench uh, exactly up to uh, all the levels that they wanted for the various different um, uh, cation, mineral cations in the, in the soil. Uh, by doing it only in a trench, we were able to drastically reduce the amount of, of uh, minerals that we put on the, uh, on the site. And we also know that we're only feeding the asparagus, or specifically feeding asparagus in the early years and not feeding the weeds. Instead of broadcasting everywhere and feeding all the plants, it's just right underneath the asparagus. So we amended to the soil test the very first year, plowed the, plowed, plowed the trench, put the amendments in the bottom of the trench, then drove over with a back blade, uh, like the snow plow blade, tilted at an angle, and it flipped the sod back over. And what was left here looked like a pasture that had a plow put in it and the sod scraped back over the top again. And the asparagus came up. Uh, we started picking immediately the following year. Uh, in part because when the asparagus spear comes up, when you snap that asparagus spear, whatever the basal buds at the crown, you'll now have multiple spears and it'll encourage making more, uh, more total spears per bunch. And our rule of thumb is we'll start harvesting in the springtime as soon as it's ready and we'll harvest the patch. Uh, and at first the, the spear diameter will be rather thick because it's got all the storage, all the energy stored from last year. Then as the season goes on, the, the average stem diameters get skinnier and skinnier and skinnier. When they're the diameter of a pencil is when we'll typically stop picking uh, and let it all uh, run and turn to ferns like this to recharge the roots for next year. Uh, weed control during the season. We'll start picking in the early spring, typically around uh, second week in May we'll start harvesting. Uh, before harvest, before we start that first harvest, I scalp mow it with a flail chopper right close to the ground. Uh, then the asparagus comes up, it's easy to see, you pick it, well all the weeds start to grow as well. well. When the weeds are so tall that you can't see the asparagus, we'll pick it one more time and then I scalp mow it again. It sets the asparagus back, takes about four days to recover, and then the asparagus spears come up again and two, maybe three times during the course of the uh, May and into June, I'll scalp mow um, after harvesting the asparagus. And typically, I'll, I'll scalp mow on a Friday. The reason being is that uh, as a member of the Organic Valley um, produce pool, the, the produce warehouse is closed on Saturday and Sunday. So if I scalp mow on a Thursday or a Friday, I can make one more delivery to the warehouse, take the weekend off, go canoeing or hiking somewhere then come back and start again the, the early the next week picking asparagus again.